What's up everybody? It's Ghost Robo. Jafar has achieved his final form. Return of Jafar is real. The scariness is almost unsurmountable. You can kind of see his form leaking through the leaf. Look at him! The menace! The monstrosity! He saw us! Oh god, look at that tongue! Those taste buds are just chomping down for human blood and this is where Aladdin has taken us. You see those remakes they have? Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast. Now we've got Aladdin. Jafar is an evil snake. Raja has been turned into a freaking hummingbird and it's on Switch. This is the game that I really like because it's all about being a freaking snake and I don't know that there's anything quite like it. I have never been a snake. It's not something I've had the pleasure to experience. And I love Disney and I love uh, I love Switch, so it's like the perfect mixture, and it's all about wrapping yourself around stuff, climbing up stuff, hugging on to stuff, and collecting blue goo. I don't think you could sell me a better elevator pitch. You get to be Return of Jafar, you get to slither around, you get to go back and forth to build up speed, and you get to bring it wherever you want because it's on Switch. I think that's a pretty fan freaking tastic combo. Now. You gotta slither if you wanna go quick, but sometimes you need to grip on tight because this snake, he can fall. And while we're trying to do our darndest to lift our head, uh, sometimes he just gets out of control. And you wanna remember that it's more, holy crap, my boy, my boy, raised like a snake charmer. Someone play the flute, let's go. This guy needs to reach for it, baby. Come on, oh my God, no, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, God, Jafar is going to be real angry when he comes back. Look at that mouth. It's going to fit our entire freaking subscriber base inside there. Back to the save point we go. You don't have to get those. What I really love about this game is that they definitely uh, up the ante with a lot of challenging collectibles. So if you want to just breeze through this game, uh, yeah, maybe it does more resemble uh, sort of the childlike nature of its color scheme. But I love the fact that the controls are really precise and you have to manipulate a, a kind of creature that you really haven't... I, I, I can't think of hardly any games that you get to experience like this. Deadly Creatures is a really good game for Wii. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. But basically you got to be a spider, you got to be a scorpion. It was a really, really neat game uh, that did so much so well. Oh god, okay, oh my god, baby boy. It did so much so well. And one of the, the coolest things that it did was... Uh, whoa, my God, that's a horrifying angle. It put... Oh, wow, okay. We're not going to try for that one anymore. It put, it put you in the uh, the shoes or the webbed feet uh, or the the creepy feet of a whole bunch of, of individuals you never would really think of controlling. Like, it's one thing to be like freaking Marcus Phoenix, Super Mario, Link, uh, Master Chief. Like... Yeah, the fun in the game is not in the controls. They, they do all control really well, and those, you know, mechanics lead to an enjoyable gameplay, but it's not about controlling the, the character itself like this. Uh, this is not a game about making epic jumps or stomping Goombas or shooting down a whole platoon of grunts. This is just about snaking your way around and living that life. Now, I'm going to show you that if you go slow, you will be rewarded. So... I think we got it and we're crawling back up. Boom, baby. Prince Ali, fabulous he, I want to swallow you. That is what Jafar says here. And you don't have to collect all those blue things if you don't want to. They're just there more as, a, you know, markings of your skill and of your progress. What you do need to collect, though, are all of these gate keys. There are three in the levels, and you're looking to grab all of those, a yellow, a pink, and a green, or yellow, red, and green, and they will unlock the exit of the level. And so that's what our main objective is here, the square, the circle, the diamond, and that's all we need to do. But for those of you that really want to embrace the life of a snake and you want to see that charming mouth open up and smile at you like that, you got to get all the blue orbs, and there are a lot of them. But a lot are hidden, a lot are on very dangerous ledges, and a lot require a whole lot more prowess with this snake-like body uh, than the normal uh, three gate keys really require. And some are in obvious easy places like this. Um, so this is a game that is all kind of about how much challenge do you want to task yourself with. 
And I really like that. I like that there's the flexibility to make these levels basically as long or as hard as you want. And it, it, it works very well as a portable title, so that's where it sort of really gets its switchiness. Um, because you can play it as like a quick little bite-sized snack, or you can play it as something, you know, a little bit more of a, of a long, puzzly affair. Uh, and they are adding time trials, which is really, really cool. And I'm really excited for that to see how fast you can slither your way uh, up and around these stages. But you really gotta wind your body. Jafar wants to be wound up. You know he's a tense dude. You know he wants those massages from Jasmine. He ain't getting them. We know that much to be true. So he really needs you to just nuzzle him up along all of these bamboo shoots. I basically describe the aesthetic of this game as jungle meets miniature golf course. And I don't know, maybe maybe if you haven't played miniature golf, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But I think if you have played mini golf, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because this really does have like this mini golf style and aesthetic to it. But I really dig it. It's on Unreal Engine 4. And I think it looks really pretty. Maybe maybe it does look a little prettier on like PlayStation 4 or something or Xbox One. But I think they did a nice job of, of making this a really good looking Switch game. And uh, I'm, I'm glad it's on the platform. I think... It's a great addition to the library. It's something very different. You know, and at 1999, it's, it's a great palette cleanser for Legend of Zelda. It's a great, uh, it, it's like Binding of Isaac, but half the price. And, and nothing against Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is super great. Um, but if you don't want to, you know, dish out, ah, so close. If you don't want to dish out 40, and you're looking for something that still is going to be super, super fun and entertaining, um, I highly encourage you to give this freaking snake a chance but the snake sometimes he's so darn wiggly you really gotta hook on um and like it's it's not as good to move in like real like what's the word like small increments you want to just you don't want to push this guy beyond his limits so sometimes it's good to really really feather those sticks you know what i mean golly goodness come on boy Look at him trying to do that dance. Maybe it's the camera angle we got. There we go. Oh. Oh, we're so so freaking close. Give me one more good rap. Oh, my boy. Jafar. I want to be Jafar. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Look at you go. Look at you grow. You're almost the top of the tower. The yellow key is within our power. It is the hour of Jafar. He's going to reach for the star. This has become an insane rhyme. Unlike anything we've ever experienced or dreamed. Oh, no, boy. No. No! No, my child of doom! Oh, God, my stomach ache! And the bird just tries to freaking... I swear, why can't I have a genie that I can turn into, like, a girder and or an elevator and or a window washing platform? They just drop my tail. You're not helping at all. Uh, it seems like there's some different environments, so provided I can actually freaking beat this stage... Which I will be able to. We are going to take you to a whole new world. And that is exactly what Jafar wishes he could do. And so we're going to, we're going to make that happen for him. Um, basically, you're using the A button to lift your head. And then you're using the... Oh, God. You're using the, the Z, L, and the, the triggers to grip tight. And to go forward. But it's like this very finessing mix. Because, like, you... Come on, buddy! It's like, you want to grab tight, but you also need to loosen up so that you have the, like, the, the, what do you call it? Like, the, basically, like, you're, like, you know, you need the extra, extra snake, I guess, the extra skin to, come on, dude, really? To go up. Finally! You're a big boy now! Okay. Let's just keep being real with each other, Jafar. Let's get the wrap right here. Okay, we just need to get the wrap. Hook it. This is where things get real real intense. Okay, cause you gotta get the right camera angle. Maybe a, the upper camera angle is good. I'm really holding this tight, as you can see. Oh, God. Wrap your head around, buddy. We're very wrapped. Come on, buddy. Oh, yes, look at that freaking magic. Jafar, you're a hero. Oh, and the other one is way up there. Okay, good deal. So somehow we got to get up there. Let's go check it out. Did I hear something? No, I didn't. What did you hear? 
Ah, oh, must have been the applause. Everyone's just really championing Jafar. And you want to hit these save stations as often as you can. Trust me, because if you die, if you fall off the edge, uh, the save, it will return you to the last save station you touched. And if you haven't touched one in a while, you're going to get punked, basically. And nobody wants that for you or the snake. It's just bad news and a bad look. So make sure you touch those platforms as often as you can. Aha. Here is what we're creeping up now. Let's see if we can do this. So this is kind of another uh, skill he's got. It's kind of like wall threading or wall... Whoa. Can you lift my tail? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Too much lift. The bird doesn't know when to stop. I swear he's out to get me. I swear he just wants to wait for me to have one. Oh, my. Oh, my God. One terrible fall. And then he's going to bite off my head. That's going to be the last you heard of freaking Jafar. What are you? Drop the tail. You don't get to touch it. Freaking drop it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Get off. Step off. Come on, buddy. You're so close. You got it. You are the champion. You are the best. Slash Aladdin in the throat with your freaking venom spit. And then take Jasmine all for yourself. I'm so glad that Aladdin's getting another another chance at stardom. Again, like Beauty and the Beast, whatever. Jungle Book, whatever. But Aladdin is where it's at. The fact that we're getting an Aladdin game here in 2017 is just some mystic level of magic. All right, so there's a lot more you can get, as you can see. Um, there's a whole slew of really hard bubbles. But in the, in the interest of time and in the interest of getting you guys uh, a look at another world, another level, I'm going to take things... Uh, to the next level, and we're going to find the gate, we're going to get through the gate, we're going to ascend, weave and wind, and utilize our three gate stones to exit this level. We collected a good amount of stuff. There we go. I summon you, all-powerful genie. Help me. Ho-hi, ho-hum. Fee-fi, fo-fum. Take me to the next world. Let's go. There we go. Rise up the platforms. And go. Beautiful. The gates of wrath have opened. The seventh seal is busted. Whew. Every beast that slithers, skitters, or crawls is in your debt. Bam. Look at that. All of the freaking snake world is doomed. And instead, we got a freaking cookie. All right, good. One snake cookie that the bird stole from us. Gosh. I can't wait till I can choke the bird out. It serves him right. Stealing our cookies, trying to flip us off edges, not holding on right. It's a rough life as a snake. Just ask freaking Jafar right here. It would be great if they had different skins in this game. I think I think it would be absolutely magical if they were able to allow you to change colors and, and use different famous snake skins. Who are some of your favorite famous snakes? Leave them in the comments below. Um, famous snakes. Mm. Jafar is my favorite famous snake. Okay, so this world is a little more watery. This is like the the Splash Mountain of the place. He doesn't drown, they said. Ooh, you can die. Whoa. Freaking has a scuba snake all up in this game all of a sudden. Look at this. We're diving. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. The fish are afraid of me, rightfully so. They should be. Okay, so let's grab some of these little ooby orbs. And uh, see what we can find. Looks like nothing's hiding in this corner. All right. Way to check it out, though. And, like, it controls... I, it's interesting, because I feel like this is a game that is challenging, but not difficult, because the challenge all comes in your ability to manipulate the snake, right? It's not about, like, oh, there's, like, random obstacles and things are moving really fast, and so, up, oh, up, oh, you flipped off, or up, oh, it, it gotcha. You know, it's not really that kind of a game. It's much more about how well are you able to control the snake, manipulate the snake, and sort of manufacture your own success which i think is super freaking cool oh golly i love the fact that it it really wants you to like be awesome um i think that's really cool and that it it, it has like kind of your own level of challenge depending on what you want to do what are we doing this what am i trying to do here oh, i guess i'm just weighing it down okay the switch is down the door is up Look at that cause and effect. Boom, baby. Okay, where are we? Where are we slithering? Underneath ourselves. Oh, you see it. Look at that. 
Okay, so it looks like we gotta wind our way up this wall if we wanna be the very best like no one ever was. Let's go. Jafar does not endorse sitting inside of a Pokeball, but I think it would look good on him. All right, wondrous, wonderful. And this makes me wonder like what other kinds of creatures do I dare desire in video games? Like, would you, you know, obviously like sedentary creatures like cows and yaks and oxen and woolly mammoths probably aren't the best choice. But, you know, think about like, you know, think about how good freaking an octopus was an Octodad. Think about how good and great, I don't know, other like goat similar goats are good. And then you also have unexplored creatures, at least I think they're unexplored. Stuff like, maybe you could be a freaking pelican. Maybe you could be a meerkat. Maybe you could be a terrible, terrifying, ferocious, evil mosquito. Although there has been a mosquito game, I know that much. So which way am I going? I don't... Did we come from... I'm guessing we came from over there. So let's mountain climb our way up here. And there's some smart design choice, like, you do really have to explore. There's also coins to collect. We haven't even seen those yet. Um, but there's coins to collect, and you really have to explore. So they do a nice job of placing these little pirate uh, skull signs around. And, like, that is where you cannot go at all. Um, so it, it, it's smart about making sure you're aware as a player of, like, what can you do, what can't you do. What the heck is this? Playing the drums? Is there... There's like a level above us. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna climb even farther. What the heck? See, this is one of those instances where I'm like... Judy B. Jones, how the heck do we climb up here? You can see there's a hidden coin. So like, you could go over here... And somehow, oh my god, somehow you can get up to the top there and then wind your way down and, oh, that's just craziness, isn't it? Crazy how much you can do with just this snaky boy. Um, alright. So it looks like this is the, the correct way, the proper place for us to put Jafar back in the water with you. It keeps him less cranky. When he's nice and cool, you don't want the snake to get ever ever overheated. I don't think it's good for snakes. And even if you wiggle in the water, it ups your speed. Now, you gotta touch these things with your head. He is a very, very control freak, so you wanna get him straight with the head. Alright. Ooh, there's a ball. Now the game is getting all sorts of interesting with the mechanics. Now they're adding a whole lot of stuff here. Rolling balls down hills, touching switches. Who do they think I am? A human? Now, this is, this is cool because it's right on the edge, but the nice part about this one... Look at that. Okay, so now we can get up to a higher place. We raise that up. Oh, wow. Um, the cool part about this is it's right by a save point. So if we do perish, if you see us bite the snake dust... Come on. There we go. If you see me bite the snake dust, I have a save point that I could just be like... Kloop, and we'd respawn right there. It's always the nearest save point. Um, so it looks like that was added back, which is glorious. Uh, so we can now head here, and you can see where the other one is up over there. Um, but I can probably access it from this way, so... We'll go grab this blue orb. We'll grab it with all of our freaking scales and skin. There there were at least three snakes harmed in the making of this, which I don't I don't endorse, but two of them were Jafar's brothers, and I think we can... I think one Jafar, we can all agree, is enough for the planet. So, I'm okay with this. They had to get the snake physics just right, and sometimes there's sacrifices that need to be made. Uh, but we're in good shape right now, and that one is up there. How do we... How does one reach that? Oh, we're at the drum level. Like, like, see? I'm, like, up here, but I gotta get... There must be, like, another switch or something else I can hit to, to raise things to another level. So let's... Let's utilize what the environment gives us. Let's head even more up. How do we... Okay, oh, let's go on underneath here. Okay, we're gonna pop out on this side. Ooh, look at that. 
staircases and bamboo shoots. Couldn't ask for more, could you? I bet there's some like creepy coin or something hanging off the edge here. There's gonna be that's oh my god. Can you imagine doing that? That would require such snaky prowess. I don't even possess that those skills yet. But you can obviously venture back into these levels and uh, reach new heights as you improve your skills. And I do really feel like it well crap. I do really feel like it's a game that you genuinely improve at. The more you play, the better you get, the more you the better you get, the more you feel whatever whatever. Like stuff like that. Looks like there's a switch up here, doesn't it? Yeah, there definitely is. Okay. So we need to... Slither boy. There we go. Okay. So I think I went the wrong way. But I need my bot. Okay. There we go. Look at that. We are. We're changing the whole shape of this land. It's so cool. So it starts out pretty basic, but before you know it, you're manipulating a whole mess of the environment, which is so awesome. And now we've unlocked an under-the-sea path, which is great because it's going to put us on the backside of this rocky chateau. And there are snake spears for us to slither. Always need a good snake spear. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You're about to unlock that third gate key. Doodles like is over there. Demonic Prince of Nothing. Bam. Three keys, and away we go. You can see which way we need to fly like an eagle. Um, and there's a whole lot more blue goo to collect, but I think our work here is done. We've had our fun. Jafar needs to be put back in his cage so that he doesn't hurt any more princesses, upset any more sultans, ruin any more weddings. Let's head to the end. And let me say kudos to Disney on uh, the most successful... Aladdin that I have ever seen. This one is the, the real champion winner, Supreme. And now, a journey is through. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me just think of, uh, of Snake Pass. It's really cool. 1999. Uh, it's on, I think, PS4, or PS4, uh, Xbox One, and Switch. I'm playing on Switch. Just because I like to take my games with me. But um, I'm curious to know what you think if you played it. Let me know. Until next time, though, everybody, fantastic day, drink special. I love y'all. We'll see you all. Alright.